Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Good morning and welcome to Farm Factor on Ag Am in Kansas. I'm your host, Conrad Kamis. The trademark program from the land of Kansas gathered local producers to a conference to discuss their operations. This year, the From the Land of Kansas annual meeting was February 26th through the 27th in Manhattan, Kansas. One of the attendees and presenters was the Food Export Midwest organization, which offers a variety of programs and services to help exports of value-added food and agriculture products, helping small Kansas companies discover the international market. Food Export Association of the Midwest uh, is a private nonprofit assistance agency that helps small to medium-sized businesses with understanding the processes of exporting, helping them meet international buyers, and helping them promote their products overseas. We work very closely with the Kansas Department of Agriculture, as well as other uh, state departments of agriculture to help reach out to companies and educate them on international opportunities. There are many concerns that Kansas producers have with getting their product out to consumers, both domestically and internationally. Sure, a lot of companies come to us with situations where they'll get international interest through their website or at a trade show. A lot of them are just unsure of the opportunities out there, whether it's figuring out, is this company legitimate or uh, something more along the lines of, is my product have potential in this market? What are the regulations surrounding the, the product in that market? And we help them through various tools, through our programs and services, as well as through the U.S. Department of Agriculture to help them navigate the requirements for uh, getting their products into foreign markets. Today, the Kansas Food Export Association of the Midwest is a nonprofit organization that promotes the export of food and agriculture products from the Midwest region of the United States. And at the meeting, the group was looking forward to working with Kansas companies. We're here today at the From the Lands of Kansas annual meeting in order to reach out to newer companies who are involved in the From the Land of Kansas domestic marketing uh, campaign program. Uh, and who are ready to explore the opportunities outside of the United States. Our main goal here is to educate companies on the opportunities that are outside uh, of the United States, as far as 95% of the world's population lives outside the United States, but also uh, understanding the resources available at the state of Kansas, as well as at a regional and federal level through Food Export Association of the Midwest and the Foreign Agricultural Service. The organization has been helping U.S. suppliers of Midwestern food and agriculture goods sell their products overseas since 1969. With those many years of experience, they can determine what producers in Kansas need. We've seen a, a drastic growth in the number of Kansas companies participating in our events over the years, and we see a, a continued growth here at the From the Land of Kansas domestic marketing campaign, so that can only mean uh, future growth in exports from Kansas. We're excited about the opportunities that lie in these new innovative products that are coming to, uh, to the marketplace and uh, look forward to working with more, more Kansas companies. I'm Dr. Frank Lyons, a physician here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. As one of the only standalone stem cell centers in the U.S., we use your stem cells as therapy for arthritis and some autoimmune diseases. I'm Dr. Andrew Poe. Here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center, utilizing the latest technology under strict protocols, we're able to harvest your stem cells from your own fat to treat a variety of medical conditions. The best part about it is, it's a same-day surgical procedure and requires no general anesthesia.